to players in the big game, there are so many dedicated professionals who all work together to bring the best game experience to the fans. And that includes the referees and the game officials. Although recent ref shortages have made headlines, one local high school teacher and coach is offering a direct path into the field with his unique class. And his students are learning a lot of life lessons along the way, too. All right, take a seat. At Jackson High School. Phones away, please. Seventh period. How's everybody doing? Is in session. And teacher Dan Rodriguez. You all help me out. Who's not here? Gets down to business. There's another big reason why. I like that. He also likes teaching outside the lines. Unless, of course, those lines look like this. Rest of the foul line extended and then to mid-court, okay? This is his sports officiating class, an elective Rodriguez designed in 2017 for kids like him. I was a learner that I didn't learn a whole lot from a book. I learned a whole lot from trying something, doing something, you know, touching it with my hands kind of thing. Dribble around, dribble around. So that's exactly what he created. An elective studied both in the classroom and in the gym, teaching students how to see a sport. I want you to process the play, and then I want you to indicate what it is. From a different perspective. A fitting passion project for the baseball coach and educator. Be confident about that call. My second year teaching here at the high school, I recognized really quick, physical education was a dying breed. I mean, there's, there's waivers that, that students can get out of physical education. One hand up, good. But now there's a wait list to get into Dan's class. It's definitely picked up. Like my freshman year, there's only like 10 kids in my class. Now there's every single seat's full. A timeout from the rigor of the school day and a chance to get up and. Let's go, dribblers, move around. Everybody's on offense. And also. When the kids start hearing what you can make in an hour for, for working an hour uh, basketball event for a fourth, fifth grade boys game, girls game, it, their eyes perk up. I do basketball games basically every weekend. I've done middle school games, freshman scrimmages, and I've even done a varsity game. Athletic director Jeff Crocker sees the class as one way to help address a growing referee shortage nationwide. Youth sports is exploding, and so there's a real demand there. So you see the supply of officials coming down and really the demand for officials really driving upward. So really trying to train that next generation. Not many people want to officiate because of like the parents and fans, but I think it would be really cool to see more women officiating. While not all students see officiating in their future, they're still learning lessons they can use off the court. Handling conflict is, is hard, and trying to teach them that self-control, practicing those situations in the gym, I think will again help them for a lifetime. Even after the final buzzer, or in this case, the school bell, Dan Rodriguez is still hoping to keep the ball rolling. The thing that would make me most happy is if I can get this going throughout the United States. I think that would be the ultimate dream of mine and kind of where my vision is at right now as an educator. Well, something else that makes this class special is the amount of time and effort that Dan put into it. He didn't have a pre-made curriculum for this, so he had to do a ton of research and reading, attending officiating courses himself to know the ins and outs, and figure out how to best teach his students. In terms of which sports he focuses on, he really follows what's in season, so the students get a whole range. But I what a fun is class. so neat. It is. Right? I mean, how many kids that are in high school, or even I don't even know when you can start officiating mm -hmm. any kind of sport, but people want a job. They want to right. start to do something. Mm -hmm. And what better resource to have mm -hmm. as to where you go to school yeah. to start learning that? Yeah. Absolutely. And not only do kids get the opportunity, but they're exposed to different assets of sport. Sport is not just, you know, dunking on somebody, scoring mm -hmm. a touchdown. You can be in the game and being in charge of the game. You right. know, it's just a great avenue for kids who saying, you know what, I don't necessarily want to be an athlete, but I love sport. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. I love being in that atmosphere and that environment and they can do it because it's available. So big shout out to him. Yeah, lots yeah. of life lessons learned, you know, kind of on and off the field yes. with that. So very many. Well, time is now 9.30.